Welcome to this video on fitting a shaft repair sleeve to a Damon Ferret wheel hub. One of the wheel stations on my Damon Ferret, despite having put a new hub oil seal in, still showed the telltale signs of oil running down the inside of the tyre. I decided this could only really be due to a poor surface on the shaft where the seal usually runs. If you've got any other thoughts, uh, do let me know in the comments. I tried to get hold of uh, a replacement um, shaft fitting, um, but uh, this proved quite difficult. So instead, uh, what I've chosen to do in the meantime till I can source a replacement part is fit a uh, SKF Speedy Sleeve, uh, which is a shaft repair kit. And it provides a new machine surface for the seal to run against. So this is the Speedy Sleeve by SKF and I'm going to use this for repair to the uh, seal running surface in the hub of the uh, Daimler Ferret. So in the box here, I'm going to open this up and see what we've got. So it comes with installation cap there, it's used to pushing the um, new surface on and here in the box is a very thin press on sleeve that we're going to press on to the worn surface and this will provide a new good surface okay so we can see what i've done is cut a hole in the back of the installation cup. So it's now going to fit over the stub axle there. So I can now take the speedy sleeve and that's going to fit on there like that. Before fitting the sleeve, what I need to do is just put a very thin film of a sealant, something like Hylomar Blue, round on the old surface, just to ensure any small imperfections in the surface are filled when the new sleeve is pushed on. Now the sleeve is um, actually a, an interference fit, so it doesn't really need to be glued um, in place it's going to stretch slightly when it's hammered on or pressed on over the existing uh, shaft that the uh, bearing actually runs on so it only requires just a very thin film of sealant as I say just to uh, fill any gaps <laughs>
we can see we've got that nicely seated. see there the new speedy sleeve fitted in place and the next job is just going to be to trim this back to match so just wrapped the end of the stub axle with a bit of tissue just to keep any uh, filings out of it while I trim this back, I'm going to be using a multi-tool with a fine cutting disc on it. Let's give it a go. So here's a close-up of the speedy sleeve fitted. I've gone around the edge, made sure there's no burrs. We're going to snag the seal as it goes on with some wet and dry. And I have just gently gone round and formed the edge over slightly to match the chamfered edge on the original bearing runner. So we've got a nice new clean surface to that now. So we're ready to try reinstalling, see, um, see if it works. So it's been a couple of weeks since I fitted the speedy sleeve and uh, it's all looking good. If we look at the back of the uh, wheel and the uh, brake drum here, there's no more oil escaping from the hub and running down the back so really pleased with that um, please do like and subscribe to this video and to this channel there's more videos to come and i'll post any updates if i have any other problems so um, look forward to seeing you in the future